Yo, what's up guys? It's the Elephant, and in this video, I am going to be having a second attempt at the random hand challenge. So, basically what the random hand challenge is, is you're trying to defeat every boss in the campaign, but then you have to press this button, which is random hand, and it'll give you a random hand with a selection of cars in your garage. Now, another thing that I have done with this challenge is I've also added the rule of if I get an unlocked car in my hand, then I re-roll my hand again. So that could be a good thing, could be a bad thing, depending on the rounds we get. So if there's an unlocked car in my hand, which is basically just a car that's fuse material, then I redo um, the roll. Also, where my gold is, well, what I've been doing is every time I get to about a good enough amount of gold to not go under 10,000, then I buy a carbon fiber which I ended up getting the RQ50 Maserati Ghibli Cup with the one I opened today. And then I didn't realize my club bonus ended today. So yeah, I'm probably just going to grind back up to like 12,000 and then I'll open up another carbon fiber. So that's what I've kind of been doing to help me not spend all my gold on carbon fibers while I'm waiting for this update that's not going to happen in a while. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to do the random hand challenge. Last time I did it, I got all the way up to Japan. And that's not like the first Japan, the second Japan, which is actually the really hard Japan. And so, yeah, I actually got pretty far in that one. So, but these first couple of rounds will be pretty easy. So we'll just have to throw them in these spots. I'll probably just skip the mats for these first easy ones, but eventually it'll get much harder. We actually got a pretty strong hand though, right off the bat with this first hand. So that's UK done. That's the first boss done. Now we're moving on to France and it's just going to get more and more difficult. And hopefully we won't have to wait behind too many long loading screens. So, all of these cars are keepers, all of which are maxed as well, also not too bad of a hand. We'll put those like that, and it really doesn't matter, we're gonna win anyway. So yeah, also there isn't any rule on just 3-starring it or not, I could try that sometime in a different video. But right now we're just retrying what I did 6 months ago, which was to see how far I can get with just beating the levels. And maybe, just maybe, we can get past Japan. So let's see here, is that a locked Forester? It is. So that, that, oh, we need USA cars though. That's another thing. They got requirements too. So we got to keep rolling until we meet the requirements. That's unlocked. So what about this one? Those are all keepers. Oh, and we got our USA car with the Chrysler Air Flight. So let's see how we can do with that one. We'll put that there. Wait, actually, that's not a Max Subaru Forester. I didn't realize that. I thought that was my Max Super Forester, so we can't actually use that hand. We can't use that one because we don't have USA cars. Okay, what about this one? That one's locked. And we got our USA car. All right, so we can use this hand, though. So we'll put that there. Then this will go there. That can go probably something like there. That'll lose, and that'll be a win, I'm thinking, with the Vauxhall. Maybe. Nope, that's actually a loss, so... Let's watch through these ones just to see how many ones we do lose. This will be a win, though, with probably a couple points. Yep, 92. And then this one is going to be a loss, but only by 64, which is good. Then this one will be a win. Yep, and this last one also, I'm pretty sure, was a win. Yeah, that'll actually be a pretty good win. There we go, 147 points with the DB7 Vantage. And so we got past USA, only one star though, and that's only the third one. So let's see Japan now. Right once it starts to get mixed too, that's when it'll get a bit more tricky. Cause then we gotta hope for getting off-roaders. We're on road right now though, and we need one Japanese car. That is fused material, so redo that hand. That is locked. Can we do it? Yep, we can, cause we got the Subaru. So this we'll just have to throw away. That can go on test bowl. Twisty circuit g-force and karting and all of these should be fine we'll just lose that solemn test but that'll be okay and so there we go let's just skip through this one yep 347 to 63 we two starred that one now let's go to germany and it's on road again we need one german car this time that is locked all these are good but we are missing the german car this one is all locked and we have a german car that's actually a very good hand because we'll go like this. That's actually a really good hand that we got for this round. But that is also, we got it on a pretty easy round. So 640 to zero, done with Germany. 
Now let's move on to the next one, which is Finland, and we're actually getting mixed stuff now. We need upgraded cars times two. We have that unlocked Renault again. That's actually the Max Subaru this time, and all of these cars are locked, so we can do it. Plus, we actually got off-roaders. We got the perfect amount of off-roaders. We, we got a perfect hand. Looking at this, we got literally, like, one of the best hands we could have gotten because we got standard tires for the rain, four-wheel drive performance tires for the rain, and three off-roaders, two of which are really good, plus the Porsche Cayenne, which is amazing then. Well, actually, all three off-roaders are good. It's just the Subaru Forester, like, isn't the best choice in my garage, but still, it definitely helped a lot. And the Porsche Cayenne's, like, the best dragster I could have gotten for that one. Unless maybe I got, like, a four-wheel drive performance tire Lamborghini or something. So this one, I think, is actually a pretty tricky one. So let's see. That's unlocked, which is good, because we would have had to use that Subaru. Okay, all of those are locked. So let's see what we can do here. We might have to go for a disqualification, which could be pretty interesting. So we'll get DQ'd there, and then the rest of these, hopefully, will get us enough bonus points. This one should give us quite a bit, though. Yep, 133. Then this one will be a win also by a pretty significant amount. Yep, 179. So we should be fine as long as we do get disqualified and not complete the hill climb. Then that's a win by 76. This one will be a win as well with the stock Gran Turismo. Because that's the thing, I'm not sure if it's making this random hand challenge a bit easier or harder compared to when I last did it. Because last time I had a smaller garage, I had less higher tier cars, but I also had less lower tier cars. So it's making it a bit interesting. Now this is the deciding factor. It all depends what good cars we can get. So we don't have two four wheel drives there. Hopefully we can get a good off-road hand because that's what we're going to need. Okay, we got one four wheel drive. Come on, I'm really hoping we get something good because this could be the run ender. All right, we, <laughs> we did not get very much good stuff. So this could be a bit of an issue. I think we might have already lost. Not gonna lie. Then we'll put that there. Yeah, I think we might have ended the run at USA. Because that'll get disqualified on the um, motocross track. Yep, so that's already a loss by 250. Then this one is a win. So we do win with the Primera. This one will be a win. But not by very much on the 80. And this one, that that's a loss as well. So yeah, we we definitely did not get, and then that's a loss too. That's a big loss as well. So we did not get lucky with USA this time. Last time we did get lucky and actually got something good. Let's see what we'd get if, if I would have rolled it again. We, we, we would have gotten two even worse four-wheel drive cars, plus even worse options. Could we get a hand that could beat it? No, because that's no buying gold, please. Um, don't think we could have beat it with this either. Like, we would have needed actual off-roaders. That wouldn't have beat it. That would have given us two four-wheel drive, and that would have been a good hand, but that is definitely not going to help. We are not getting off. I think that's where it was a bit more trickier then, is because I've got just so many cars now that getting five good cars for off-road, or at least four, four good off-roaders, is pretty tricky to roll with random hand. Like, I haven't even gotten four good ones yet. Or just four off-roaders in general. There's not enough. And then that one as well. There's two four-wheel drive, but still not going to help. The only good car is the Suburban in there. And this one. This one maybe we could have beaten it with. I don't really know, though. Probably not. But yeah. So that's already the end of the run. Last time we made it all the way to Japan. And this time we got stopped at USA. So... Oh well, it was worth a shot to try and see if we could get further. I wasn't really hoping, I, I'm not hoping, I was hoping we'd get further, but I was kind of doubting we'd get further because Japan is definitely a tough round. Like here, if we would have hopped into it right now, it's because there's three, or not that, there's three actual good off-road tracks that are all in snow, so you actually need three competent off-roaders, which is where I got thrown off last time. The rest of the races are pretty easy to beat, and they wouldn't be too tricky, but it's just getting those three good off-roaders for that one then is a hard part. So yeah, that's going to conclude it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, if you want to see me try and get um, all three stars with um, 
on like playing it with seeing if I can get three stars for every campaign boss and see how far I can get with that using random hand or just maybe try other different types of things with a random hand because I could probably think of a few ideas that would be pretty cool. Like maybe get a hand of all maxed out cars and then I can do it or uh, I need to have one unlocked car in my hand could make it a bit more interesting as well. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys have any ideas too for this, comment it down below and goodbye.